people use the word revelation, I just had a revelation, I just, so I'm, I was in the Bible, I just got the revelation. You see, the right word is, I received light, or I, I had an insight. God gave me an int, or gave me an insight into something. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. And so, when you receive that int, or you receive that light, concerning that your desire, a, the light of what Jesus has accomplished for you in order for you to accomplish that thing. Hallelujah. You dream of having living abundance, material abundance. What do you do? You go to the Logos, the written scriptures. Or you get a logos that somebody is trying to explain in a book that has been written. Or you look for messages, teachings or preach and preachings that is, is explaining the logos, the mind of God concerning that your ambition. And so what do you do as you get that? You play the messages. You listen to the messages. You read the books. You read the Bible. You study those portions of God's word that deals with your expectation. As you do that, Rema, insight will draw. It is that insight you walk by. It is that insight you walk by. The way you receive answers. Rema, a fitted word given to address that situation. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to make a major decision and you don't know what to do. You don't know which way to turn, which way to go. Go to God's word. The spirit of man is a candle of the Lord. Setting all the inward parts of his belly. And what that means is that your, your human spirit, your born again spirit, is God's light bulb or God's set light. God uses your own spirit as a torch, a set light, to set inside of your being, your innermost being. What is he searching for? Searching for dark areas of your life in order to search, to, to shine light there. That light is the understanding you receive to deal with that dark area of your life. And so you, 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 want, you, you, you want to make a major decision. You don't know what to do. You take that word. My spirit is a candle of the Lord. My spirit is God's such light. Speaking that to yourself. Light will come. Light will come. Light will come. Even if there is delay, the delay is because of distractions that you are having. And so you keep speaking those words until the distractions are taken out of your mind. That you can now focus to receive from God. Light will come. Glory to God. I said light will come. Amen. Job said, oh, I were in the days past. Job said, oh, I were in the days past. When by the light of God, I walked through darkness. This was a man that lost everything he had in one day. Everything, children, properties, inheritance, everything. In the midst of that, Job said, oh, I, were, I wish I was in the days past. What happened in the days past? He said, by, by God's light, his spirit, he walked through darkness. By God's spirit, he walked through darkness. God knows there is darkness in this world. And so he uses your spirit to, search, to shed light in that darkness so he can walk through and know how to deal wisely in the affairs of life. And that's what God was telling Joshua in Joshua 1.8. Say this word shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate day and day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Say therefore, day and thou shalt have good success. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, 
and then thou shalt have good success. The word to have good success in the Hebrew literally means you will deal, you will deal wisely in the affairs of life. If you are dealing wisely in the affairs of life, is that not success? If you are dealing wisely in your relationship, you are having a successful relationship. If you are dealing wisely in business, you are having a successful business. If you are dealing wisely in your organization, in the organization where you work, you are being successful in that organization. And so, you say, you see, when, you, when you take in that word, meditating on my word by speaking those words to yourself, you say, then you will you see, be able to do, that is to practice the word that you are meditating upon. And then it says, then you will make your way prosperous. You are the one that makes your way prosperous. People are waiting for God to make them prosperous. God says, no, you are the one that makes your way prosperous. You are the one that will now learn to deal wisely in the affairs of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you are meditating on my word. You make your way prosperous. In your business, you make your way prosperous. In your marriage, you make your way prosperous. In your ministry, you make your way prosperous. As a student, your academics, you make your way prosperous. Glory to God. Because you will learn to deal wisely in the affairs of life. And so God has spoken all.